All right, so let's jump into one of the interesting feature of a query software called integrations. So in the integration section, you can connect third party software to the query itself. So there are some categories in here from accounting, analytics, email marketing, and so on and so forth. If your visitors is not converting into a customer, there might be something wrong in your funnel. So I really recommend with you to check out Click Funnels because it has a lot of really cool features that can absolutely help you to come up with strategized funnels for your leads, converting them into customers. So check the link below to get a free 30 days free trial. Let's get back to the tutorial. In this tutorial, we will focus on the email marketing, but actually the process on all of these categories are just the same. So email marketing, I choose email marketing because this is the most thing that you should configure if you have a equity software, right? So right now this account use Aweber for her email client and the the, the goal in here is we want to save or we want to put all the contacts who uh, set up appointment from equity going to the Aweber mailing list. I will also cover the MailChimp one and the Aweber. Now I'm going to disconnect this for you to see how it works. So let's click this one and let's click the disconnect. Hopefully I can also create another tutorial for this integration just comment down below so i can prioritize that one right so i already disabled the what do you call that aweber so let's connect it before you connect your aweber you need to make sure that you log into your aweber account so i'm gonna go into the aweber here and actually i think i already logged into the aweber account Hold on. So yeah, ready to log into the Aweber account. And then before you hit this setup thing, you need to make sure that you have a lease into your Aweber. Okay. In order to create a lease, click these dots in here, or this arrow in here, and then click the create lease. All right. And then you name your preferred lease and your company. You need to fill in everything. Okay. Let's say I'm going to set up something like just... I'll just set up something like this and let's just put a, a, a test and then you can also put a description if you want to and we click the okay oh actually this is mandatory this is a test leads okay and click the next and click the approve and once you've already created a lease the, the lease in here, I mean, you should able to see your lease name. Okay, so now once we already have a lease, go back to your equity software and go into the Aweber, click the setup, and then you need to click this connect to Aweber. And then, with the process is totally super easy. You just need to fill in your information in here. I'm going to pause this for a while and then I'll get back to you later. Okay, so just blurring things out, click the allow access, once you're ready, fill in your email address and password, and then set up what will be your appointment. So I prefer to sync this lease. So I already created a, like a test lease, right? I created a test lease, but I don't want to use that. I prefer to use the existing lease that I, that should supposed to be imported. So I created uh, this existing lease so click the that one and then fields this will be for the um open one since we don't have really so we can keep that as is for now so save buttons save lease and then you should be good to go so I think we're good. So click the advanced thing. And as you can see here, the Aweber is already enabled. It's already connected. Now let's jump into the MailChimp. MailChimp has a different setup. So you click the setup. 
and then you just need to put your MailChimp API key. So how you can do that, log into your MailChimp and then go to the account and then accounts. Okay, you click this one and then account and then go to the extras API key and then you copy your API key to connect to your MailChimp account. So for example, I'm going to generate a key there. You can also use your existing one, but I prefer to have uh, a really separate API key for the for your what do you call that for for every software you have so for example this one I just generated that and then let's call that test and then let's copy that API key we put it there and put it on the MailChimp click the connect okay and then once it's already connected um, you need to select which one which list do you want to be added click the save and you should be good to go okay so if you do that and then if I refresh this one so MailChimp is already enabled now I'm gonna remove this MailChimp thing because this is not this is not her account so I'm just giving you a sample so yeah your AWP integration is incomplete you need to open a question okay let's let's fill that out so you click that and then we have the privacy settings in here so let's just click this and then click the save so i think that is already a mandatory right now so you need to enable it